Hello and welcome back to Life is Strange, episode 4, Dark Room. So, it's been a, like a week since the game came out because I um, uh, haven't really had time to record. But I'm gonna try and record now. So I can put out videos uh, almost every day, as I usually do. So yeah... We had just come out from the alternative world, where everything was quite fucked up and stuff. And uh, now we're back. Chloe is alive. Which is good. Yes. And uh, maybe, maybe you can hear it, maybe you cannot. But uh, I've got a new microphone. Uh, the Tabanga is perhaps Arcadia Bay's oldest original totem. Yes, Chloe, yes. <laughs> I have got um, the blue snowball. Uh, I really now wanted I go the... Now check out the big board. I really wanted the racer siren, but... It's a bit expensive, so I'm starting with this one at least. So, I hope the sound is um, a lot better for you. Examine. Mm -hmm. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. <laughs> Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. <laughs> hmm. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Exactly. Is there anything interesting I'm in so here? so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Sad face. Email. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. Hmm. Yes. Sheet. Wallet. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Interesting. There's Chloe's cash dash. Sorry, Principal Wells. <laughs> Ashtray. She's yes, smoking Chloe a lot. Was here. Smoking a lot. Despite controversy, no tribe has claimed has claimed ownership of the Tabanga. Nathan Prescott already tried. Hmm. Yeah. Snowdo Snow always makes me think of William and Chloe. You got anything to say? Ooh, photo. Photo. She did not give a shit. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information.
Coffee. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Oh, cannot even talk with her. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Well, guess we're going. Sneaky peeky in here. Since David might be in nope. there, I better mosey along for a change. Sneak. Lights on. Use. Splash some water on my face. Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. <laughs> it means the real Chloe is back with me. Anything else? No. No. Let's off. Let's go downstairs. Oh. Yep, locked from the other side. Sad face. Hmm. Oh. Warren. What's this? Check. The most expensive restaurant in town? David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Well, it's nice that they can have fun together. TV. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Surface whales. Joyce really wants David and Chloe to be a family. Of course she does. She's a mom, that's what moms do. They want their children to be happy. And, um,. Yes, they want their family to be happy together, so that's of course. David even They're made sure to bag up the dead birds. No. No all the birds, no. Except for this. William never finished painting that wall. So many sad things. Well this is you, at least. And, uh, oh, the basketball over there. Hmm. I can hear the music from outside. Oh, yeah, warm. Reality. Go ape, not human. Sure. Or does she don't want to read it all? Uh, mm -hmm. Whether they are they to military test something? You ride out in the eye of the storm. Of course, I'm still coming to visit you. Visit you. I miss you and my bunny. We all miss you, and your bunny misses you. Yay! You're such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. So Maxo. <laughs> cool. So Maxo. Frank Bowers, drugs, that's all. Ask Nathan who knows about him. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? Juliet. You busy? No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going on? 
Besides everything, I was just curious if you heard that guy named Frank. You mean that in down by the river? He's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Why are you doing investigation without my help? No, just bought. Can't keep secret. Okay. Dead. Hey honey, we text warning me about my nosy daughter. Better stop watching or else I look out for herself. This is some kind of school prank. It's from block number. So I was jackass from class. I think it's funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I'm just being a dad. Almost over. Call you later. Mm, um, fashion maker, nothing. <laughs> Chloe, dear, excellent, dear Watson, I'll bearing my thinking cap. So, <laughs> so, and that was no emoji. Well, let's sneaky sneak, which is probably not going to be possible when he's standing there. It looks like David there. finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Clues. Clues everywhere. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Hmm. Sorry, but this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. Mm, no girls allowed? I don't see any sign. Fuck you. I'm going in here anyway. I wonder if David is going to the party. Um, well, he probably is going to hey, snoop around there. I do appreciate you standing up for me. No problem. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Sneak, sneak. Look. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. <laughs> hey, David, what you hiding? He does not want anybody in there. What's that? Oh. Oh, a Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Hmm. Let's see. Then something is gonna go wrong, and those are gonna smash. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing happened. Oh. This has consequences. Hmm. Probably because now it's easy to see them, so maybe someone's gonna throw them out or something. I better put it back. After a photo. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay Wildlife series. Max, you better put that plank back to protect the nest. Yes, I'm on it. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy eggs. Good. That should be fine. Why can I look at the This plank? plank is good for nest protection, but bad for a nest photo. Okay. Hmm. Isn't that the lock, lock door? Well, it's not blocked from this side. Oh, now it's open. Hmm. Convenient. Email. Ma Sorry, but this is surveillance cameras at Pan Estates. David must be working for the Prescotts too. My official man cave. So Email. no girls. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time, if there is one. 
Hmm. Yeah, I forgot to write my name on that petition. Wait, what? I can just take the keys. Hmm. I think I'll. Wait, what? I cannot talk with him. I thought I could. Well, let's take him and Sure is hard to work in private with somebody. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Why are you so mad? Come on, Max. Hey, Find Max. a way to get David out of his cave. I do appreciate you standing up for me. Why no talk? I'm pretty sure I could talk with him before. How am I gonna get him out of this man cave? I give up William but defend David? But Chloe hate me if she knew. Sorry, oh. but this is my official man cave, so I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. I give up William, but defend David. Take it. Gotcha. Ah, ninja. Ninja powers. Strikes again. Ninja out of here. I'm back in. I give up William, but defend David. Yeah, we heard that all. We oh, heard that a million times. Right now. Hmm, he's probably. David will hear. not leave if I ask him nicely. So I am the key master. Hmm, I'm not. He's not hearing anything. Notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Interesting. He saw that. Mm hmm. Oh. Hmm. Why? What does it say? Something. Pay me up. Pay up. It. Cannot even read it. Hmm. Score. Back to Chloe now. Can I? Yeah, now I can speak. Anything I can do for you, Max? I. I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. Sure. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. <laughs> Excuse me, that's Miss Caulfield. Yeah, yes, you bastard. Sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. Like the fact that you might be working for Sean Prescott. What? Who told you that? Nathan Prescott? That little shit ass is lucky he only got suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I... I am sorry, Max. So, are you gonna tell me why you think I'm working for Sean Prescott? Uh, Pan Estates. I saw documents that you were hired to do surveillance and security at Pan Estates. God damn. You are a good detective. But I didn't get hired. I gave Sean Prescott an estimate. For my own reasons. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. I tried to help her. Huh? I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You saved her life like a hero while I left the goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. That guy is an elitist prick. And I'm off duty so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. Hmm. Why say that? Why do you say that? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, 
I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me, since only I know what's happening. That's why I'm working out the new Blackwell surveillance plan to protect future students so they don't end up like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, oh, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take Come care on. of ourselves. Oh, now, excuse me, like Max. I have to get back to my camera. See? I'm an artist too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, he is kind of douche sometimes, but hey, it does seem like he is. I do appreciate you standing up for me. Uh, Actually, I David douche. definitely couldn't work in the dark. Hey, Missy, seems you do like know I can see you snooping around. Trying to be good, but he is douche doing it though. Max, I don't like. Sorry, Max. I can't talk and work. Hmm. 